Currently on uh, Mount Termon here. It's actually my first time I've ever been here. And we're going to take the uh, cable car going up to the peak. As far as I know, the highest peak in Israel. You can also see into Syria and the Syria Hermon. So apparently we read in uh, on Facebook yesterday that there was the first snow of the season uh, yesterday on the Syrian side of the mountain, not on the Israeli side. But uh, from the top of the peak here, we're probably able to see a great view in. So I'm really looking forward to this. I've always heard about it. Uh, haven't been up here yet. I think we're the only people on the cable car, if that's possible. I'm pretty sure they just started it for us. Just getting near the top of uh, Mount Hermon here and uh, it's really really amazing inside really quiet obviously in the ski season there is snow apparently the first snow of the season was seen yesterday on the Syrian side of the mountain of course you can see into Syria it's gonna be nice to see the top of uh, Mount Hermon for the first time another post Aliyah milestone for me Some pictures here showing the history of Hermon, the first kiosk. Oh, and, I, and you can see what it looks like when there's snow. Not so many people, tourism season is off here. And uh, it looks very, very rocky up at the top. Aficionados will uh, instantly recognize the presence of a weather station. <clears throat> and here there is a, uh, I'm not sure this is like a historical tank. It doesn't look like anything even remotely current. It's kind of sitting here. Interesting, it's got no sign, it's just kind of like hanging out here. And there's all these interesting buildings that not clear exactly what they are, what they're used for. This is a little bit uh, further up the road again, and you can you can read on Wikipedia about this and the Second War on Mount Hermon, which is part of the Yom Kippur War. Um, when in the first one, from what I understand, Syria, there is this is was an IDF outpost that Syria captured. They repelled an Israeli counterattack, and then finally Israel took it back in October. Why wow, the views are spectacular. So I was looking at the map, and uh, the border is actually a small bit north still of this point and that's uh, the border is officially demarcated by Undaf line Alpha which marks the Israeli side of the DMZ line Bravo's on the Syrian side so there's another few kilometers uh, the border is probably somewhere in open territory you can actually see a couple of cars and I'm wondering if those are already in Syria quite possibly uh, I'll check the map again but the landscape up here is really impressive it's actually hard to believe this is really the highest point in Israel because you can just get up here, you can see up on the right here, there's, there's a bunch of, uh, looks like kind of army intelligence, probably some kind of listening post, tons and tons of radar stations and stuff like that. And just kind of open territory here beneath the mountain. 
and there's a car coming down this road. So you can go even even further north than this. Um, I wonder if it's an open road to civilians or just the army, but there's one coming down here driving south. And uh, this building's interesting. It's got a kosher certification. It looks to be abandoned, uh, at least at the moment. There's nothing up there. And I'll be curious to read the history of these afterwards. These kind of uh, fortification-like things up here with some uh, rusty coils of barbed wire around them. This is probably the closest I've ever come to experiencing complete quiet in Israel. It's eerily quiet up here. The only thing you hear is like a back of beeper running a few kilometers away. And besides that, it's totally silent. And uh, in any event, I've got my Femi Pam 2 up on a uh, up on the Ulanzi MT34, which is why I made the video before I left about all the different things I was going to try. So I could just kind of show the different shots I can get. So right now it's just kind of within arm's length. Um, I'm just going to see if you can turn around during switch mode during operation. Don't think you can. Oh, you can. Amazing. Okay, so this is now in the cameras facing forward. It's on the Ulanzi. You can see I'm just kind of panning about. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this on full telescopic reach. Before you do, I'm going to just uh, get it vertical. It's not really a very big stick, but it's about a, a meter. So I'm going to go up in the air here. You can probably see my reflection. I'm holding it now, right one meter in the air. And you can see what the uh, stabilization looks like here. Now I have it in selfie mode, but I'm holding it, holding the base of the uh, selfie stick. So it's about kind of a meter from my body more or less. And you can see how this looks and how the stabilization looks when the Femi Pam 2 is on a telescopic monopod. Final demo I'm gonna do is put this into 90 degrees, extending it out, extending the monopod. Now we can hopefully kind of get down really close to the ground. <laughs> 